And good afternoon. Welcome to This Is Private Practice, where everything technology has decided to go very slowly. So you might want to put this recording on fast forward because I have no idea what's going to happen with the universe of the internet and things today. Good grief. And I was all prepared to come on this call today and talk about how enthusiastic and optimistic I was after I'd gotten off a call with Debbie Eglin about Active Campaign and how we use it. There were high fives and there were slappings going on and all sorts of exciting things happening. Um, I was really excited about this piece of software and how we're going to make it work. And then the internet goes off and it comes back on and then it goes off and then it comes back on. So that's been a fun day because most of the coaching that I've done today has been online. So I think there have been times today when Francis and I were looking at each other and they're, yeah, and things like that. So Telstra, you're on notice again. Uh, you need to fix our stuff again because this service delivery dropping out thing is getting old and I've kind of had enough. Zip, zilch, the end, the end. And uh, we just had my husband making lots of noise coming in and out of the office because we're right next door to the garage. Uh -huh. So great news today. We've had one of our clients completing the fatigue management program get a brand new job. It's a career development job. It's a brand new job. It's now an opportunity for him to go and practice all of his newly formed skills and knowledge and take what he's learned and put it into practice. The four of us who have been working with this gentleman in a training and, and development capacity are just so thrilled. Um, but you know what the extra joy was? We were going to spend about four hours together tomorrow and we were going to do our final session, our final follow-up session with this gentleman. And then we were going to spend some time talking about what it is as a team that we need to do about our program and how we're going to uh, finish off some of the internal materials, training materials that we have. But because he's not going to come in, I, I don't think that that's necessary for us to do. And we've all been gifted this big chunk of time back in our day. But Beck McMurray, if that means that you've got nothing to do in Sydney tomorrow, but you still need to be in Sydney, I'm going to go into town. So I'm more than happy to catch up with you and meet with you and chat about things, stuff and all things awesomeness that you're doing. But um, giving that gift of, of that big chunk of time back to one of my consultants this afternoon, she was so happy and so light, <laughs> which goes to show us how important and precious our time really is. And many of us are still trying to do too much in the, the small amount of time that we have, or we're not using our time effectively. We've got this massive, massive push in our world for efficiency, but I really think we need to move beyond being efficient and learn how to be effective which is where your processes come into play, where your systematization comes into play, but where your people come into play. So I don't know if you've ever noticed that highly, highly systematized environments never feel like they care about the people. And then highly, highly personable environments often don't have good systems in place and good procedures in place and people tend to trip over each other. So one of the great skills that we have coming into this current, well, it's probably been in the workforce forever, but one of the responsibilities we have as business owners is to ensure that we don't lose our personhood in our business, the importance of the people, but making sure those people are effective in the way they can execute the work that they can do. It's incredibly important. Fortunately for us, Active Campaign is solving quite a few of those problems, but it's not just the piece of software. It's also in having somebody who can help us interpret how this piece of software is going to be of most use to us. Excuse me, I'm really dry and thirsty today. It might have had something to do with all the coffee we drank before we got on this call. <laughs> so efficiency and effectiveness, really, really important things that we need to have in our businesses to make sure that they're running efficiently and effectively because you can efficiently do the same thing over and over and over again and you can efficiently make the same mistakes over and over and over again. So stepping it up and learning how to become more effective is probably the next step many of us need to take in the development of our businesses. So that's a 
Word of wisdom from Joe today. Now, I am not sure what is happening here. I'm not sure if you're there. Some people came on, some people came off. It looks like I've got very few comments happening, so I'm not sure if anybody is still here. Um, oh, hello, Faye, you've just joined. So that's excellent to know. <laughs> huh. um, a big day of, of delivery, but but a, a fulfilling day. I'm, my book is still, it's coming together really well. I've um, finished another one of the interviews. I've been working on the revisions today. So I'm getting really excited uh, about how that is coming to fruition. Um, and yeah, it's still starting to feel really good that the, the project is coming coming to fruition. I, and I did get to spend some more time on it today. So I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. And guess what? I've now got a big chunk of time opened up for tomorrow, which I will dedicate to emails and also to working on my book. So private practice today has just been it's just been one of those days where you do a lot of those, a lot of the things that need to be done and get frustrated because telcos don't seem to understand the needs of business. Anywho, I will be off now that I've made that little comment and I look forward to talking to you all again this week.